<laughs> exactly. No, but he loves doing this on the side. He also works for Grimm as well. I think that's oh, the other really? local show, right? Wow. Not anymore, but I think they should have given him a Coin Six badge. On I know. It, like. Pretty cool uh, stuff. Yeah. Hey, like speak, speaking of cool, weather's going to be cool tonight for the Starlight Parade, but dry. That's the that's the big thing. Yeah. Now let's take a look outside. Here is a great shot from the Skamania Lodge camera looking east up the Columbia River Gorge. Good evening to everybody in your 5 o'clock hour. A nice evening out there, but cool today. A lot of clouds. Here's Stoller, Stoller Family Estates Winery down in wine country. A lot of clouds, a little bit of sunshine mixing in. And here's a Riverview camera bank, a community bank camera from Vancouver looking over the I-5 bridge. Time lapse today shows clouds coming and going. A little bit of partial afternoon clearing, but I think you're going to like my forecast on Sunday a lot warmer. 66 degrees right now in your 5 o'clock hours. We look down on the waterfront, just a light northwest wind. Morning lows up and down the I-5 corridor, mostly in the mid-50s, mid-50s along the coast. A warm morning over in the Dalles at 62. Daytime highs today. Now keep in mind, normal high temperature at PDX 71 degrees, but we were a couple degrees cooler than that with mostly mid and upper 60s up and down the I-5 corridor in the valley. Along the coast, temperatures mostly in the low to mid 60s as well. Now your evening planner, if you're going out to the parade tonight, I do not see any rain showers in the forecast. 65 degrees at 7 o'clock. We'll just cool it down slowly at 9 o'clock when the parade starts. Just cloudy skies, no rain. Right back here on Coin 6 News, 11, 57 degrees under cloudy skies. Quick look at that satellite and radar loop in your 5 o'clock hour. Just a few scattered clouds that are beginning to break along the coast, as you saw earlier in the show. We saw a nice shot from the beach. And that sets the stage for a ridge of high pressure, which will be moving in over the next few days. Our cloud and rain forecast shows not a lot going on tonight. And then tomorrow at 12 noon, we cleared out nicely in the valley. A nice afternoon and evening. And that sets the stage for Monday and into Tuesday and Wednesday wall-to-wall -wall sunshine and temperatures warming up into the 80s. Take a look at that coastal forecast on your Sunday. Morning clouds in the morning and then afternoon clearing. Temperatures mostly in the lower 60s. I-5 corridor on your Sunday. Morning low clouds. A mostly sunny afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. East side of the state on your Sunday. Mostly sunny. A breezy afternoon with northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Madras will top out at 71. Cascades and Gorge. Morning clouds west. And then a mostly sunny afternoon. East Cascade Lock 69. The Dalles, you're the warm spot at 74. Take a look at that seven day forecast, guys. There we are, Sunday, mostly sunny, 71. We'll be getting warmer on Monday, 75. And then Tuesday and Wednesday are the best days of the week. We're going to go a good 10 to 15 degrees above seasonal normals. 83 will go 84. It wouldn't surprise me if we see mid 80s, maybe even some upper 80s on Wednesday. But then, as usual, the Rose Festival low swings right in. <laughs> we cool it down just in time for the Grand Floor Parade and bring in some rain. That's uh, quite a spectrum of forecast. Yeah, though. one extreme to the other. But yeah. it's typical Pacific Northwest weather in June. It's all comfortable, too. Yeah, and like we were talking, the, 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 the summer weather sets in on July 5th. Gotcha. All right, so we have a, we have a little bit to go, about a month. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Set your calendar. All right, to sports now, and the Oregon Ducks need